How is it going? Welcome back to the Ring of Pain. I am the Absolute Worst, and we are back here with another single candle run. After the specialist update, which we've been having a ton of fun with, we got a pl bunch of new cards. Let's get right into it. The game feels much, much different in a positive way overall, I'd say. I've been having a lot of fun with the uh, the new items that they've dropped into the game, as well as all the new features. A bunch of new achievements. Oh. Okay, are we... Is this it? Are we restarting already? Oh, man. Gary needs a new pair of shoes. Um... Grab the jewel. Grab the jewel. Okay. What a rough start. Fountain of Life? Probably. Man. That was not great. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> we've been uh, playing around a lot with the uh, the new additions to the game, and I think it's just in a in an overall better state than it was, which it wasn't in a bad one, but it, there's just so much more now. Let me know your thoughts uh, if you are playing. Um, there's, just, I think, there's just a lot more to offer for all audiences. Okay, we want some defense for sure. Um, uh, cure is pretty good. Our stats are solid right now, so cure might be the play. Uh, no thank you. Um, we're just going to take the defense. I really do like Axe because of the speed, but we have uh, acceptable speed right now. We're going to heal up and go right through. You know what? I probably could have attacked him, healed up with this, and then gone through, but that's eh, fine. Give us your potion. Give us your pots. All right. Get these fire beads out of here. What do we got here? Um, ooh, poison or stealth. Uh, I think we're going to keep our jewel for now. That would give us a fair amount of HP. But we lose all our speed. And the speed's actually working out for us. Let's get the creepy doll. Let's get the creepy doll. Um, and we can't really bust through him, huh? Well, actually, you know what? We got plenty of health here. Let's go ahead and take him out. Okay, yeah, that worked out fine. Take the stat increase to our... Let's work on a little bit of clarity. Um, We have a fat pot, right? Yep, so we can go ahead and take this. Awesome. We'll do our attack. Stone skin. We don't need to sacrifice our HP right now. We're going to keep some of those points... And neither of these are worth. Save up our souls. See what we get. Alright, we got a scrounger and a fire bead on the left. Alright. Let him do his thing. Take out the striad and follow the scrounger. Nice. Give us attack. We want that double double digit attack. Then we'll take the clarity. Um, we will take the compromise, which is what this is called here. Uh, bu 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 so we lose clarity on these two, which I'm not crazy about, but I also don't want to sacrifice attack. Alright, so we definitely have to sacrifice the clarity. Um, I think we're going to even out the stats. I think we get uh, the 9-10-9 going. That sounded way... More interesting than it was just attack defense speed 9-10-9 but I think that was the play because um, I found that now having pretty even stats in the early game is really what gets you through at least with my most recent experiences can we take you out okay we parried that one attack 
attack first. Nice, that was pretty good. All right, we'll take this heal. Yep, fire hive. And what do we got? Yes, ambush. This is kind of risky, but we do have the heal. And we also have a get out of jail free card with this. So we're gonna go ahead and get this done. That speed and attack coming through. Ooh. You, sir, are quite formidable. One of these has to be a parry. We have to parry. No, two of these have to be a parry. Okay, not looking great. Actually, now they don't because of that heal, but... Okay, we're out of there. Insatiable, this is new. Two health, five uh, dodge chance. Gain plus one to highest primary stat and minus one health on kill. Holy cow. <laughs> Wait a minute. So we get hurt. Is it like minus one HP, like max HP? Because that's what it sounds like. But we get plus one to our highest stat. So as of right now, this stays totally neutral, right? Because we're going to get one HP and we're going to lose one HP on every kill. We got to take this to try it out. On every kill. So this should remain the same after this kill. Oh, no, it's these stats. Oh, my. This is about to get very, very interesting. Can we survive the insatiable? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We need to figure this out quick. We need to get rid of this. This is for late game when you have lots of health. And maybe a way to generate it. Oh my. Give us a mask. We need a mask. Oh man, shovel's awesome too. This is not what we need right now. I think it's a very, very good item, but it is not working for us at in its current state. In our current state. Camouflage. Whew. Crisis averted, but man, that is a cool item. How could that... I wonder how that's sustainable. Because we could lose 5 max, max HP on a hit if our build... if we we're fully built. Let's just heal up here so we can get the turns rolling with that. Man, that's... I'm really... I'm racking my brain trying to figure out how we can make that item work. All right, level six. Kill the scrounger. Um, let's get this clarity going. Ow! Knew that was gonna hurt. Um, give us the clarity, man. We'll take some more attack there. Shrouded leather. Not a bad gimme right now. Camouflage helping us take a little bit less damage there. We're gonna attack. Heal that up. Attack again. Ooh, embracing chaos. That's fun. Kill this triad. Wishful. We don't have anything for wishful. Ouch. That. Okay, you know what? I would normally take Embracing Chaos, but we're going to take this full heal and head into the crossroads um, in search of an ambush. It's a little risky considering our, our current health, but we should be good. Oh, boy. We 
we have 60% chance to parry this and we're not parrying. Thank you. We dodged with dodged with a 5% chance, but we couldn't parry some of the some of the, some of those other attacks. I know we're not actually curing any poison there, but it just feels right to do it in that order, I guess. Come on, parry up. Thank you. Alright. Mimic friend. I do like the Mimic friend. But I think we're going to reroll this. We have a lot of empty slots. Swap front cards after attack. That's cool. This is new to us. We're just seeing this for the first time. One attack, two speed, and three clarity. There's not many weapons, I believe, that have clarity. Swap front cards. I I feel like that could be useful, right? Yeah, because we could put... Oh, well, we wouldn't be attacking an explosive. Oh, but we don't have to attack an explosive enemy. Alright, we're going to take this just to see what it does. We're going to pay some attack points for it, but... That's okay. Uh, nope. Heal up. Man, I'm still thinking about that insatiable. That is quite the item. So if we... We swap them on attack. Swap front cards... After attack. I wonder if that works on, uh, shackles. So if we attack this... I mean, we don't want to do it here, right? We have to do it responsibly. Um, take an attack on that. Bunch of cards we don't really care about. Um, hmm. I, I don't know. This is gonna, I think this is gonna hurt us. <laughs> I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna mess ourselves up with that. Ah, uh, seriously? Do we really have to use both of these? Yuck. I want to turn something into a frog. Take this purple item. Mm. Plus one to poison to front cards on attack. It's kind of lame. It's kind of lame for a purple item. I uh, will take it. All right, let's keep going. I would like to turn something into a frog, please. Uh, strength leech. That's pretty good. One attack, one health, and uh, we drain attack as we damage enemies. Ooh, compromise. We like that. Um, how about this poison bead, though? We're going to get on the other side of him first. Come on. get pinched. Now nah, we're just going to head for this poison bead, which will put them right next to each other. And say goodbye to both. Alright, so compromise gives you either plus three or plus four in a stat, and it takes minus one away from two others. I think in this situation, we're going to give ourselves a little more clarity. You want to build up clarity slow now, um, as opposed to just banking on... Oh, okay, so this can get us out of a, a sticky parry situation. Um, potentially. But you want to build up uh, clarity slowly now, because we can't just bank on certain items to boost us up. Um, it's a little bit more gradual of a gain of clarity. Oh, well, we can't escape this poison anymore. You know what? You're going to get frogified. Nice. I like that. We're not going to be able to get that purple chest. We're going to heal that up. Okay. We're making it. Grab this explosive. Use the explosive. Cool. We're getting all these first attacks. We can attack him. Heal that poison. Heal the rest of the damage. And we're out to the crossroads. Patience wouldn't be bad, but I want an ambush. Companions. Patience. A careful maneuver. We'll take patience. 
Again, to go over this real quick, anytime you encounter a patient's room, pick a side and go, and you won't get stuck. So we have a free purple item, so we're going to pick the right. I am so bad with my rights and lefts. The left? It's like a, it's really an issue. Um, I don't really care too much about these drain items in terms of their effect. I mean, it's all right, but it's kind of situational. Chrysalis Heart, I think, is just objectively better because of its stats. I could reroll. Because we still have a couple open slots. I mean, the only shield I really care about is Glacier. Shoes are stealth, and I don't really like those. We could get a we could get a helmet that would be pretty, be pretty nice. Hmm. We're gonna go with the Chrysalis Heart for now. If you can kill something, okay, we got to be careful using that item in this. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> be careful with the swapper in, uh, is that what it's called, the swapper? Yeah, be careful with the swapper in that room. Okay. Ew, we are not going to leave him there, even though he wouldn't have been able to attack us. We're going to take out the spine back. We got some decent resistance to curse right now, but we're only gonna utilize that if we have some extra po uh, poisons, potions by the end here. Heal up that poison. We're gonna eat this poison. Hmm. Grab this explosive detonate everything here. Grab this perp. Uh, living helmet. Heal two on kill. I think that's what we want for now. Trinket memoir is alright. Scrolls don't get used after, uh, don't get destroyed after use. 25% chance. Uh, it's kind of just a nice back pocket item if you don't have anything there, but I would even kind of prefer the creepy doll over it. Just because scrolls are already so potent as it is. Um, you really don't need to rely on... This is what, 6 health we're going to lose? 8 health. We have a 63% chance to succeed. Nice. Alright, plus 2. And I'm going to put it in clarity. Why not? Um, we can't pick anything up there. I was really contemplating that restrained heart. If we did have the... Uh, well, and we would have died, right? Let's play it as if we did. So if we took that restrained heart right there, we would have had, had, would have had to attack this first. We parried, so we would still be alive. And stuck here. We could have shuffled. And... Oh, we still don't know if we would have survived. I know this is kind of silly, but... Alright. Well, now it's kind of to the point where I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> now it's kind of to the point where it doesn't really matter if we survived or not, right? Because it's not happening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, We're kind of in a spot here where I don't care to go either way. Oh, that's actually, it's kind of nice for these enemies. It puts them on the other side of us. Uh, we don't want to mess with a Skulker. Man, this room sucks. This room is really not great. We have, like, a, uh, probably, uh, an Absorb back here. Which we don't really want to fight either. I don't want to take Dark Days, so we're just going to attack him again. We're just gonna we're just gonna head through. That whole room was just not anything that we wanted. Our ta our, our stats are falling behind. That's what's happening here. We're falling behind the power curve. Real quick. We'll take the explosive. Um We're gonna move. Let him detonate. Keep moving. 
let him detonate. Um, we're gonna heal up. All right, we need to kill this Lumberg. And that Lumberg. All right, we got ourselves out of there. We're not quite out of the woods, but we're in a much better position than we were. Um, we need pretty much all of these stats, but we can't, we can't do this right now. We can't do this, uh, this curse resistance. So, we reroll. First tile is a little bit better. Gives us the survivability we need. Now we're just really weak in terms of our attacks. Um, oof. Swapper's going to put him on the other side, which I don't want right now. Uh, let's see what this gives us. Clarity for speed and defense. Defense for speed and clarity. Speed. Okay. We're going to take this defense. Swapper is mediocre, I'd say, right now. I do think that the clarity on it is really great, but not my favorite item I've seen. Um... How much are you worth? How much are you worth? Two. How many times are we going to need to attack him? Uh, four, right? So we're going to take eight damage. Minus five because of this, or three because of this. Well, we can start working on it though, right? Okay, that was worth. Oh, another one? Okay. All right. We will we'll take that whole situation there. That wasn't terrible. Gave us enough for this purple chest. Uh, restrained heart would be great right now, but we cannot afford it. But we will take that power glove. Okay, we're coming to the uh, the end of the mid game, start of the late game here, and we need to get a build rolling. Have to take out this amalgam early. He's gonna take himself out. Uh, we definitely take that damage because we need to take this guy out. Okay, good. I wanted to, I should have left that bead over there. I should have sacrificed this potion knowing I had this one here so that he would destroy that um, fiend, but no big deal. Okay. There's a lot of treasure in here, which is nice to see. Um, if we attack you, it's going to push him over. So is there anything we need to grab before we head out? Definitely this. We need that attack. We need to start increasing our attack for sure. And that's all we can grab right now, so we're going to attack him. This basically makes... Uh, 50-50 parries into um, situations where you should just attack regardless. Wow, so many purple chests and a gold chest. Now it's just making us feel bad. What do you have on the other side of you? Okay. Um, there's no reason for us to stick around, unfortunately. Let's see. 16. And we can heal him up. And we get that. 74. Oh my goodness. 68% chance to heal. We're going to go around the other side. Well, this one's already hurt, right? So, heal up. We can take two more from him. Jeez. 
There it is. All right. Uh, we don't want a uh, light collar, maybe. No, we can't give up the attack. Ah, uh, freeze front cards. That's okay. Oh, we need to pick one of these, huh? I kind of this cure has been treating us pretty well. I think we keep the the cure because we're gonna start uh, running into plague bears pretty soon. It really sucks we had to pass up that purple item, but. Um, I think this cure is going to give us definitely a little bit more utility. Okay. There's our first look at the new, well, in this video at least, at the new crown of clarity there. We want that kill. Oh man, this guy's getting beefy already. We need to take him out. as well. We need to attack you three times. But we're parrying up. We are parrying up. They're going to fight for position. Alright. <laughs> I had to think about that there for a minute. That uh, that took a little bit of focus. Um, man, we really... We'll get the 20 HP. We really need to get some attack rolling here. That's a little nicer. To clarity. Uh, gotta put it where it needs to go. Can we even kill this guy? We have to hit him seven times. Uh, seven times four, what, is 28 with a 40% chance. And we have a potion and a heal. So we, we heal now. We attack once, twice. Three. Move over. Move back. Stop taking the souls, sir. He hasn't attacked us once yet because of our um, intimidate, so this is working out pretty well. This is crazy. He's just not attacking us. So, every time he does that, is, are we losing his souls? I don't think so. Losing our souls, rather, right? Someone taking them from us. Um, oh, his mind back just changed, so we will go back to him in a moment. The swapper is still so odd to me. He is absolutely worth taking a little bit of damage there. Oh boy, one more time through. All right. Let's see. Soul Claw is probably better than our Swapper at this point. After spell, you steal five damage. We can uh, we can play around that a little bit better because it will show us to. Um, like for instance, well, we shouldn't really use it there, but we'll just attack him. Oh, crit him! Nice. Uh, sneak pet. Oh. We have an 80% chance, so we're playing with a little bit of fire there, but... Oh, we dodged that one. And we parried that one. Uh, we parried that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, in this case, the swapper would have been kind of nice. The numbers are playing in our favor right now. Ooh, Ravaged. We'll definitely go in there. Um... can attack, heal his poison, attack again, ooh, oh my gosh, if this is the one we fail and it ends the run, I'm going to be a very salty boy, oh man, that would have stunk, oh we need 60, why do we keep going that way anyways?
This is a tough decision. Okay, that was that was the way to do it. Perfect. I wanted to get this gold item, and that that one plague bearer was standing in our way to get it. Uh, we'll definitely take mimic. And we'll go into this ravaged. They once were ruled. I set them free. Down the one, and then they fleed. Now what I hold belongs to me. Take the rest and leave me be. So he wants us to take what's here, but not bother him. I think we can do that. Uh, we'll take the Agile Boots and... Swamp Matter over Chrysalis. Nah, nah. We don't need that. 69% chance to heal. Come on. Yes. White item. Probably nothing here that's going to really be too enticing to us. Except maybe a shield slot. Eyeballs? Some clarity? Three clarity or these stats that we have here. Dungeon have two plus two cards. Uh, nah. We'll hang on to our, our stats for now. Yeah. There's really nothing here that this guy has to offer. Volatile crystals. Alright, blue item. Here we go. Maybe something good. Uh, I'll reroll this once. Or twice. Man, all your items stink, dude. No wonder they took them from you. Soul attacks deal plus three damage. We don't have any soul attacks right now, but... Uh, oh, yes we do. Soul damage. And we use a spell, so now it's going to do eight damage instead of just the five. That's kind of nice. Uh, no. Discard. And, oh, that's actually technically better, right? Well, not really. <laughs> and leave me be. We already got the tiny crown from killing him. But, we're going to attack him anyways. Tiny crown, minus two defense, minus critical hit. That weapon, or that item's not very good either. That's like a spoon. That's almost as bad as a spoon. Okay, back to it. So we have 74% chance that we're going to pass this. So we're going to give it a shot, and we got it. We'll hit our 20 attack. Kill that Bane Fang. Get this guy out of the way. Alright. There's really nothing else in here we need to worry about. I just want to get this Scrounger. You, sir, are quite annoying. Oh, he's stuck on a blocker. Okay. Is that the door he's trying to get to? Yes, it is. So there's no way he gets away now. Um, there's not really a reason for me to attack that for the damage on the scrounger, because we got it easily there. We're going to take a little bit of speed here, uh, try and get our speed up a little bit, because right now we're not like... We're not going crazy with our attack, um, so we want to have that speed as a backup. Uh, minus one to speed and defense for a bunch of attack. This is kind of the swing I was just saying we didn't have, so... We'll go ahead and invest now. Got a couple of fire hives. Um, I think we're going to put ourselves... Actually, we could attack the owl if we go through here. Could we survive it? I think so. We got a decent amount of uh, clarity here. We're going to have plenty of potions anyway, so we're just going to kill one of these. And that just cleared the room. So we will attack the other one for its souls. Take this gold chest. See what we get. Void portal. Pretty good. Probably better than our living helmet right now. Maybe? I kind of want something else. We have a lot of open slots, like... Yeah, like Light Concoction. Or Dark Pack. Light Concoction is going to mix well with our Living Helmet right now, so we'll take that. Oh, and we get another choice, so we'll take a Screamer, I think? Ah, if we get a Skirt of Visions, having this extra... Um, Clarity here is going to be super nice. 
Alright. And we will absolutely take this. Get that attack back that we lost earlier. And we're going to attack the owl. Hello, Mr. Owl. Ah, this could actually be a little spicy. We need to intimidate and parry some of these attacks. Uh, he is not taking our crap right now. How much? Oh. Okay. We do 18 damage, which is 36. If we hit him twice. So we're going to hit him. He got intimidated. We still can't kill him. Heal up. Hit him again. Alright, we got out of there. That was actually a little scary for a sec. Forgot he was going to keep chasing us down. Take our attack, and let's go. Alright, free gold item. Oh man, this battering shield. This thing is so freaking fun to use. The crow would be very good right now, too. Um, we're going to take the crow. We're going to shoot for another battering shield, but we're going to take the crow. Oh, man. Both of these are also really, really great. Um, minus five clarity. We're going to take this battering shield. out of the way of that. No thanks. Oh, we got a splash damage quaking hammer back here too. For free? Are you kidding? What's this gold item? Give us the skirt of visions. No, give us the skirt of visions. Come on. Um, nope, we want magic right now. Soul cannon is pretty good if we could get uh, giant wraps for our feet. But we're going to reroll. Oh, man. Chaos Flower. We're, we already know we're getting the Quaking Hammer. So getting the Chaos Flower is just... That's a no-brainer. Uh, stacked Plate is then obvious. So we're abandoning our speed now. Um, take the stat increase. What do we got? Uh, let's take uh, Clarity on that one. So we no longer have our um, camouflage, so we do need to take out these ranged characters pretty quick here. Uh, you know what? Damage us, sir. Alright. And we can heal up the rest of the way. Uh, we're going to take Quaking Hammer here for the attack, the defense, and the splash damage, because that's going to mix um, very well with our Chaos Flower. And maybe we'll get a pair of uh, Thunder Step boots. So we're going to take that. I love the way it looks. These, The new aesthetics on these items. Man, they did an awesome job making those. I freaking love it. Um, we'll heal up. Do we need a purple item? We can get a purple necklace. We don't need purple boots. It's really just a purple necklace. So I think we're going to save up and we're going to get another gold item. Um, we're going to attack straight through the left side here. Uh, we'll hop over this bead because there are no other beads that are coming towards us. Uh, let's see. We will go ahead and attack through this so that we can heal. Okay, a couple more kills there. Easy peasy. Uh, let's see. I think we'll just attack this guy head on. 
Wow, that splash damage right now is crazy. Um, let's see, what could we beef up with this? We'll hit Clarity. Wow, we're getting plus five this late in the game from these. Yeah, we'll take the Clarity on that. We're gonna hang on to this upgrade, and I believe we're gonna be forced into the Owl fight, right? Because we attacked him earlier on. I take the Owl Path a lot. Uh, as I said uh, before, I kind of just like the, you know, the feeling of having an actual end boss. Um, the other way is, you know, uh, rewarding in its own, in its own special way. But I just like this fight. Um, we are going to purposely take some more poison damage and heal up big. Yes, sir. That was it. Give us something fun. No. Skirt of Visions. Uh, no. Skirt of Visions. Come on, please. Oh, Thunderstep. We'll, <laughs> we'll take that. Alright, that's fine. 8 plus 10 plus excess killing damage. So we could try it on these little guys. Actually, I'm going to skip over this enemy just so I don't kill anything else. 63. We're doing more damage in our splash damage than we are in our direct attacks. We did 103 critical strike to that little that little bean there. That little poison biscuit bean. Oh, you're vulnerable now? Forget about it. All right, we pushed him down to 250 health. So he's jumping in the center now to do some of his special attacks there. Um, really nothing to worry about here at this point. Um, what we're looking for during uh, this portion of the game is where our blockers are and where our fire beads are. There are no fire beads on the field right now. We've got a couple of fire hives, uh, but we are really not even caring about any of that right now. The next thing to watch for are uh, his beams of light for his special attack. All you got to do is move out of the way. As long as you don't spend an action within them, um, you will never be damaged by them. Uh, we have to move towards him to attack anyways, so we might as well take this. Oh, he is very close to dead. No, we don't have a soul hourglass, that's right. Uh, we'll do that. And he's back on the field with us. That's a nice strategy also if you are, you know, maybe struggling to, you know, kill him at the very end, or you just want to get him back on the field you know, as soon as possible. Watch where your obelisks are, where his obelisks are, and move towards them um, to put yourself in the position to attack. Uh, because that'll help you um, get him back out to the field quicker. But that is it. That was a massive splash damage build. That was a lot of fun. Um, single candle still definitely feels pretty easy, um, but a little bit more balanced. Balanced? I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. It's you know, it's the it's the mode to play if you're you know just getting into the game. We need our music. Or uh, you know, if you're if you're uh, trying to do some achievements or whatnot, maybe theory craft some builds. Um, but I am very excited for what the harder difficulties bring, simply because of the uh, typically the ability to get some more items and uh, kind of build into a more in-depth build out. But thanks again for watching. Um, if you did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, definitely helps me uh, you know get my name out there and uh, promotes the videos hopefully for other people um, if you did want to get some more information on the game we the uh, ring of pain discord is a public discord that anybody can join I just have recently and there's a lot of really great people out there that uh, are given some 
you know, good information about the game and what's to come. Uh, but otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.